Tray, tray, tray. Tray. Yes, that's what we are going to talk about in this video. Tray gears, for musicians. But in this particular one we will focus more on the trays that mounted on mic stands. As the popularity of these trays that you clamp to mic stand are handy and do serve its purpose. The one thing I like about these gears is they are not bulk, to bring and carry, as they are just an add-on. A tray that you just clamp on your mic stand is better than bringing a tray with its own stand. Size and weight matters if you're hauling your gears alone. I have a mic stand tray that I have purchased back in 2011 that I have been using as a holder for my Roland BK7. The mic stand tray is made by Quick Lock. Model MS303. This was actually categorized as music sheet holder. But I found that the tray fits the purpose of my need as I am the operator of our Roland BK7 and having this device in front of me in my reach is best strategic location. Quick Lock Model MS303 is 11.75 inches by 7.9 inches and constructed on metal with black finish and weight 3.39 pounds. This is very stable tray as I have used it for more than 10 years now and and still at its best. The round pipe bridge designed on this tray is really strong and it can carry a pretty good weight of a device. Now I do not have the specification on how much weight this tray can hold. My Roland BK7 weights about 3 pounds and with proper position of the mic stand even with the device rectangular shape and placed into right outward position did not encounter a weight or balance problem. But I would like to caution you guys out there you should evaluate the tray, the mic stand, the balance, and the device that goes on top of the tray. This is important as there is some physics involved here and it could result of a broken equipment because of a fall. The equipment that may be broken is just an initial problem. The real problem if this equipment prevents you from continuing to perform due to a need of equipment. So evaluate. Test it, and secure and brace it if needed. The Quick Lock MS303 clamp bar bridge can be moved from its left position to right by unscrewing three bolts. So depending where you want to put this tray the flexibility of this option is there for you. The only thing about this tray is the clamp part. It does have a very heavy duty parts but it is limited to where I can fit. The opening of the clamp part that goes to your mic stand is 2 cm and it was just right at the bottom pipe of my mic stand but too loose to clamp on the upper portion of the mic stand. You may improvise by putting some kind of rubber fit on the upper part of the stand to keep it steady. Best is to know the measurements of your mic stands to see if it does match. Continuing on. A few months ago, I decided to add on a drum module to enhance the drum in our music and I got me another mic tray and it is made by, on stage, model MST-1000 and it is a 6x9 metal tray. This one has a wider opening to fit most of the mic stand. The size is perfect to hold my Alessi's drum module but the design of the tray will block the cable connections and this will not work on my settings. I modified the MST-1000 tray to set the position that I want. First I removed the two screws that holding the bridge bar. Then removed the ring portion at the tip of the bar so I can lay the metal bar flat. I drilled a set of holes on the location where I wanted and voila. I have a side tray. Now recently we just have upgraded our mixer and replaced it with Zoom Lifetrack L8. I have a detail information of this upgrade in my other video titled, How to Start a Two-Man Band Part 2, and a video titled, Zoom Lifetrack L8 Part 1 through 4, if you want to check it out. 
My previous mixer prior to the upgrade is quite heavy and it is positioned most of the time on the top of my gear bag or anywhere that I can find suitable for this mixer. Since we have upgraded and the mixer has more function that we can use and must be in my reach also we have to get another tray for it. Here comes the Ore ATS tray that I recently added. The tray is 11.8 by 7.8 inches. It is not quite the right size for the Zoom Livetrack L8 but it is good enough to mount the tray below the Roland BK7. The MST-1000 for the Alessi's State Route 16 is mounted on the left side as shown here. The Zoom Livetrack L8 is, is not heavy so it is just right for the Ore ATS tray. The Ore tray has a white clamp section that could fit a mic stand and speaker stand. The only thing about this tray is it may not be strong enough to hold a little heavy item. As I mentioned before, you should evaluate the tray, the mic stand, the balance, and the device that goes on top of the tray. In other words, know your equipment as this is your sidekick beside your music instrument. With the decision that I would place the mixer on the mic stand also put me into thinking that regular mic stand would not be that stable having three trays clamp on a standard mic stand. Again the physics has to be evaluated on this implementation. The solution is to upgrade the mic stand with a heavy duty one and I got one made by Pile. This heavy duty microphone stand has tripod base just like a speaker stand. Using this type of mic stand gave me more security on how my device be kept safe on their specific tray. One more thing. I am sure some of you have experience when your mic stand knob bolt are loose and doesn't tighten anymore and your mic stand starts to come down while performing. If you gig a lot you will find you will be needing these knob bolts. I got mine from Parts Express as the price is way way better than at the guitar stores. I got this K&M brand and replaced all my worn bolts and keep a few extra that I bring on the road for backup. Here is how the heavy duty mic stand and the trays setup looks like. I hope I gave you guys an idea in case you would fall into the same situation. Glad to see you again on any video that I will be sharing with you soon. Can you help me to increase my subscribers? I hope you can, so go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Thanks.